I put this what geezer done when I was in prison with him, right? In the block, yeah? He chopped his cock off. How many people have you actually killed? Confirmed, I think I've taken about 18 human lives. Do you like putting willies in your mouth? Oh my goodness. I asked me to rim him on our first hookup and his ass stank. Are you still playing PlayStation at this age, Siri? Oh! That makes me itch. I can't what? like hear it. Like, get a full time job. Get <laughs> So I'm sure if you have TikTok or any sort of social media, you've seen that the podcast scene is absolutely in the toilet right now because all people need to do is go online, order a mic and a camera, and they just drive engagement by talking about absolute Now, that being said, I thought I would put together a few of my personal favorites from the UK podcast scene that I can dissect for everybody's entertainment. So I found this one TikTok page called Stop and Check and it basically is just a bunch of podcast clips about the UK's hardest men. Now as soon as he's in range, I banged him. And it was fucking hilarious because he's out cold in the middle of the road and you know the person that gave it more was his bird. And they're all talking about how they've like fucking shot and killed people and stuff like that. And it's just clips and clips and clips of that shit. But there was one person in particular who I came across and I just had to look them up. His name is Marcus Redwood and apparently he's like the world's most notorious bouncer. And when you type him up, this is literally the first thing that comes up. So listen, claiming to have KO'd one or two people is a nuts claim in itself, right? 10 people is a lot of people. 100 people is a lot of people. Thousands of people this man has claimed to have knocked out cold. Um, listen, I'm not disputing that. He probably has knocked people out cold and he would very quickly add me to the top of that list as well if he ever met me. Um, but his podcast clips are just nuts and they just sound like he's fabricating the story just a little bit. He's pulled his Desert Eagle 50 out. Have you ever seen one? No. So I sort of ran straight at him, but I was sort of rugby tag. I went underneath his arm, smashed into him as hard as I could, and I ploughed him straight into a car. And then I've managed to get my arm over the top of him. And I've smashed it yeah, into the car yeah. a little bit, arm up his back, yeah. pulled the gun out of his hand, threw the gun across the pavement. And luckily for me, at that, at that time, a police car just happened to come round the corner. We didn't have to call one, and I just waved him down. So let me get this straight right. Batman over here has run at a bloke with a Desert Eagle. He's disarmed him, smashed his head on the top of a car, and the police car's just come and picked him up and taken him back to the station, right? What a good Samaritan this bloke is. But the best thing is the comments. I wasn't angry with anyone, but we were walking home and I, I, I ripped two concrete bus stops out of the ground. Okay, no, wait, this guy isn't Batman. He is literal Superman ripping bus stops out of concrete from the ground. But the person who hosts this podcast, he sits there and he just lets these people talk. He never questions, you know, how actually valid these stories are that they're bringing up. So these guys can basically say whatever they want and no one's going to question them ever. I was arrested in a, in a car park at the back of a pub in Birmingham, Perry Bar. And I had seven handguns and 240 rounds of ammunition. In a seven handguns, right? Bearing in mind, he's only got two hands. Who is this guy fighting? Who is looking for this bloke for him to need seven handguns and 200 rounds of ammunition on him at all times? Triple, I've done double A, now I have triple A. And I'm not going to do that until I feel like I'm getting bored of double A. I don't think I'll ever do quadruple. Not many times. people do from what I've seen. It makes me sound like I'm doing nothing, but for us doing triple, doing compared to quadruple is like a big difference. Yeah. So I think I'll stick to triple. Me I'll go, I only do it once and then I'll go back down that. again. Back I think I'd like to try triple just to see how yeah, I'll handle what? it. And if I'm good with it, then I'd be like, yeah, give me quadruple. Okay. Quadruple. Full in their ass. That is what they're having a discussion about. Just casually over, over the table and then 
going back and editing the clips and thinking, do you know what? Yeah, I'm happy with this going live on the internet. If someone said to me I had to not ever touch, like have in one of my holes again, Ooh. then I would definitely say I you. choose to have it in my hand. Let me ask yeah. you a question. So I found this other podcast called The Sinners Podcast, and what they do is they basically just invite a bunch of adult performers, only fans, models onto the stream, and what seems to be they just talk about their arsehole for 45 minutes to an hour. Um, but what they did is they re-invited the girl who spoke about having four uh, sausages in her bum, and she basically confirmed it. So if the first time wasn't bad enough, having the clip go viral about everybody knowing what goes in your butt, she came back and confirmed it. Last time I came here, I said that I did double <laughs> Stop, I'm not gonna speak if this fucker is <laughs> stop. Right, last time I came here, I did double a and I said yeah, sorry, I wanted sorry. to do triple a yeah. I hadn't done it. Yeah. And last time I came, I had a lot of people following me going, please send me triple but I hadn't done it because I didn't listen to it properly. And now I'm actually, like, it's been like, what, six months, five months, but I've done triple now, so I've Ooh. had three yeah. Oh, there is no hope for the UK podcast scene. It is finished. It's only about two things ever. It's sex and violence. They're the only two things that the podcast are ever on. Right. I guarantee you the, the head that a young girl gives you be mm -hmm. different to the head that an older girl gives you. Bro, lock this guy up. Like, actually put him behind bars. What is your biggest turn on? When my boyfriend talks about him having sex with other girls, like, it <gasps> really? really turns me on. Yeah, like, I don't know what it is. All right. I think that is enough of the UK TikTok scene. I mean, this shit is honestly brain rot just going through it. And like I said, it's either violence or sex. It's never anything else but do you know what? this was just the uk side of things if you want to see me to the us which i haven't even touched upon or even looked at um then like and subscribe and all that jazz but uh yeah we need to start introducing licenses for people to uh to have a podcast because this is just not on